Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog with It's Skate to Be Karen. I hope you're doing super duper well. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to go subscribe. Um, so again, here comes the long awaited, super duper interesting vlog, which is of course the library vlog. I know we've been waiting for it for a very long time. I'm, al I'm also gonna say like, you know, the university itself has a lot of different libraries. So obviously like I would be vlogging different libraries like whenever I can. Today's library is going to be the science library so it's the one of the most nicest libraries because you get a lot of space. Um, it's very nicely organized. It's almost like in the center of the campus so it's something that you know you should really go um, to because it's nice and it's in the center really easy to access not very difficult to access. Um, so I'm actually going there because I had to return one of my um, book items. So I thought of vlogging while I was there. So while I'm doing that, I was heading towards the building and I thought of vlogging um, just to show you what it looks like. Um, obviously, like there's so many other libraries that look way more nicer. Um, and this is not like one of the most aesthetic libraries that we have, but it's definitely one of the most spacious ones. It's one of the most... Um, less crowded ones that you know like if you wanted a little bit of peace i think this is a good place to go to the interesting thing is like in the university like our libraries specifically what really happens is um the ground floors is basically open for people to talk you know so it depends which library you go to the science library specifically the ground floor people can talk so if you need more peace you go to places called quiet areas which is usually like in the first or second floors, you know. So you'll see as we get there, but just wanted to give you an idea before we actually step inside. Okay, so I've kind of started off like on the second floor just to show you what I meant by a quiet study space. Um, so what I'm gonna do is because this is a quiet study space, I'm obviously not able to talk. So I'm going to be recording this and I will add a voice over to kind of explain what um, is happening around this specific floor and what you can potentially get from this library um, and if you have any questions feel free to comment it down below and let's go right so this is kind of like your quiet study space and it comes with a little construction notice that you know they'll put on if there's any constructions these are tables like individual tables where people are kind of seated at and this is what it looks like um and you're gonna see like a array of rows like these that are on every floor. So what you're going to see from here is at the end of the array you're going to be able to have a window and that kind of shows you what the outlook of the first floor looks like. Okay so walking just a few more steps and taking our way along these rows and columns of tables they usually have a sign that reminds you of saying quiet please just to give a reminder for anyone okay, so who might just forget that they need to be quiet so basically there isn't a lot of people currently on the floor so i wanted to speak a little softly to kind of explain a little bit of logistics so from the window here you're going to be able to see the floor downstairs which is called as the ground floor and from this window just right here you're going to be able to see the tunnel. So this is the underground tunnel which connects to you from the geology building to the physics building. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so this tunnel is in fact leading from the geology to the physics building and from just this window you'll be able to see a part of this tunnel technically. Okay, so I'm just walking between the two bookshelves and most of the books that you um, will see in here, you would be able to borrow them from your library portal. Um, and majority of the books you will notice is a lot on analysis, on engineering, on earthquakes, geography, um, sciences, 
um, engineering sciences, it could be a lot of different things. And this is basically a picture. So they've covered the floor with lovely pictures and we're just gonna head our way. So this was our second floor. The floor downstairs is a ground floor and there's one more floor below the ground floor, which is basically a shelving sh section where you have all your archives. Um, this floor has all three floors in total. So I'm just gonna take you to the third floor. Okay, everybody, so we're currently standing on the third floor and I'm just gonna walk you through and what it looks like. Again, this is the quiet section, so I'm not gonna talk. I will do a voiceover on top of this just so that you're able to hear everything. Alrighty, so this is kind of the bookshelf that we're passing through. We're currently standing on the third floor and we're making our way across the floor. Um, this is a nice little paper that reminds you that the main floor is the social one, followed by the individual one, of course, the quiet area. So if you were sitting on the third floor and if you came through this way, you're going to see um, the geology building from here, from this particular view. The idea is the library is very nicely surrounded with views and it gives you the opportunity to see um, various parts of the building. Again, the science library is inside the geology building. You would also be able to see construction that's happening. So that's the construction that's happening for the biology building, I believe. Um, so that's under construction. And yeah, so downstairs is the geology one. Um, it's a really nice place. Again, if you are willing, that's a really nice place to go to as well, just to see um, a few animals. And I'm pretty sure you'd be able to see like hamsters and snakes as well. So make sure to go and give it a shot. So the third floor in general is much, much, much more bigger. Um, so you can already see this is what the library looks like. And it's so much more bigger because um, the third floor is able to accommodate way more people. So you'd see like a lot of different books. Um, so as I said, there's a lot on engineering, engineering economic analysis, mathematics. There is a lot on engineering companions as well. Um, I myself have never read these books because I think it always depends on what your major is, but yeah, there's a lot on, you can see mechanical vibration, there's a little bit on shock vibration handbook, so it covers a wide variety of things, just so you know. So this is just another part of that third floor. You would notice that in some places you have cables on the table. Um, in other sides of the floor, you would have cables right underneath your chair. Um, of course, they provide you this little stool in case you're not able to reach books that are super duper high. Um, but yeah, so as I said, this is just one library and we're currently standing on the third floor. Um, a lot of books are specifically on the sciences, like engineering sciences, physics, um, quantum physics, biology, um, chemistry, there's a lot of books there. So now I'm just going to walk you through um, the first floor a little bit and also the um, floor below the ground floor. Alrighty, so we're taking our lift, making it all the way to the level ground floor. Um, and here we go in just, I'd say, two seconds, hopefully. Okay, everybody, so basically the top is going to be the ground floor. When you come downstairs, this is your lower ground floor, and this is what it looks like. So your shelves are going to appear like this, and you need to be able to understand, um, or be able to know at least what serial number your book is so that you're actually able to go to that right shelf and find out the book you want. Sometimes if you don't know the serial number, you could always go to the um, the ground floor, which is your first floor, the floor above this floor. You can go and ask the librarian and basically she can actually, you know, help you. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the idea. So... When you come to the lower ground floor, this is what it kind of looks like. And you're always able, you know, to go to a specific shelf. Um, for example, let's say because there's a little gap over here. And let's say um, 
you know, I was looking for a specific book and maybe the book is in fact between these two shelves. So what am I supposed to do? All you have to do is you have to press this button. Okay, it's going to say ready to use and you press it one more time and it starts moving automatically. And that's about it, right? So once it touches the, the, the bookshelf behind, it will automatically stop. And what it does is it will help to turn on your lights and you're able to actually step inside. And once you step inside, it makes like a beep sound. So the system knows that you're actually standing inside. And then of course you can take a look at the books you want. You don't have to worry because the shelves will not automatically start moving unless you press the button. So just make sure that before you press the button, you actually take a look if anyone's actually inside. Also notice that if someone's standing inside, it will not move because when you're standing inside, it will not say ready to use. Once you step outside, then it shows you ready to use. So it's very safe and a lot of libraries have this kind of system. The reason why the uh, lower ground is specifically like this is because these, um, like the amount of space that you have on this floor, these books itself, um, are very precious of course but the amount of space is very limited so they'd have to make sure that their bookshelves are closely coinciding with each other which is only possible when they make use of the space um, very carefully and that's only possible when they follow this kind of a system because if they naturally put gaps between the bookshelves either your gaps are going to be very narrow or they're just not going to have enough space to put things inside um, like put all the bookshelves inside the floor. Um, but yeah, that's the kind of idea for your ground floor. There's a stool that you can use in case you kind of feel like the shelves are too high. Um, and yeah, I hope you found this little guide helpful. So this was a little mini tour that I kind of gave you for this specific science building. I genuinely hope that you found um, this vlog very, very helpful. And if you did, don't forget to comment down below to ask any of your questions that you might have. Or if there's anything that I didn't address, make sure to mention it down in the comment section below. And of course, I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions. And for now, this is it. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. I'm also going to say, before I end today's vlog, I was really, really desperate to show you, um, I don't know, like when I was, I think when I was on the third floor, I kind of showed you what it looks like downstairs for the geology building, um, and how we had like hamsters, we had snakes, so I really wanted to show you some of those, um, and I'm just going to flip my camera around and I'm going to show you what we have. So this you'll see is, um one of the showings and usually they have a lot of uh, things to say. A lot of my friends, they actually are much more knowledgeable on this, but you'll be able to see leopard frogs inside. Um, I currently don't see one. Ooh, I don't know if you see them. They're just hiding down there. So that's one of the leopard frogs. And I'm just going to walk you through a little more. Alrighty guys, this is another section of it. And actually, if you'll notice, the snake is down there. So just right over there, if you can see, that's the snake. I think it's currently sleeping, so just so you can see. Um, so they're called as the king snake. That's what they are. So if you're very interested, I'm just trying to highlight that this is a really good place to come into. It's literally in the center of your geology building, and it's almost like an exhibition you could think of. Um, so they talk a little bit about birds itself. I, I doubt there's actual birds in here, but I'm not sure. Um, and just in the center, you'll see a cute little lake, and you'll see a mini skeleton of a dinosaur question mark i'm not sure um but yeah i mean if you do end up coming here my point is you might end up being much more knowledgeable than me because i i usually come here once in a while but um i think it's a really nice place to come into this is in fact the hamster location i think if i'm not wrong um oh i see it there you go do you see I see two little hamsters over there just between the two circular uh, blue and green wheels. And they look like they're like, they're in their mini little zone. So I'm not gonna bother them. I came one time and they, and then actually I was looking at the window and one of them just 
looked at me and started wheeling around so once in a while they feel like going on the wheels i feel like today is kind of like their sad tired little mood they're feeling a little cozy so we'll just let them be but yeah so there's a lot you can read um i'm not sure if they're hamsters or if they're rodents i'm not entirely sure i might even sound completely stupid so i'm not even gonna say anything but I'm going to say I highly recommend everyone and each one of you to actually come and visit this place. I think it's beautiful. It's a great place for you to, you know, have a little bit of peace if you're like tired and stressed or anything. It's heading out and I realized that I never really showed you what the interior looked like. So when you enter the geology building, this is what you're going to see. So this is the view that you're going to have. This is what it looks like. And then when you turn towards the right-hand side, that's kind of where you'll have your library. And then when you go in the center, that's kind of where you'll find out the snakes, um, the hamsters slash rodents. So yeah, I highly recommend you to come visit. Um, feel free to have a seat, you know, that's totally possible. And do a little bit of readings and yeah, enjoy, enjoy the beautiful view around you. And yeah, that's it from me for today and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye guys!